phase this. You know, we are going to see a nice quiet pattern. We do have daily storm chances, but that comes with the heat and humidity that we're also going to have. So there'll be pop-up storms. Nothing widespread like what we've been experiencing the last couple of weeks. And what a beautiful start it was in Bloomfield. Here's a time lapse. You can see those high cirrus clouds building in. Really was an awesome start across that area this morning. The fair weather cumulus clouds now building up, and we'll see more of that today. We do have a chance of an isolated thunderstorm, and when we look at June precipitation, we are well above average for this time of year. We have had seven and a half inches of rain in the month of June, and that almost is four inches above average. So certainly well to do with the amount of June precipitation we have. We still have a few more days to go, and we could add on to that. However, it is not going to be widespread rain. Here's a look at our satellite radar. Pretty quiet across the area. We have mostly clear skies. Temperatures already warming up quickly. 82 degrees in Kokomo, 83 in Bloomington. It's 82 in Greencastle. 84 in Batesville, and look at this beautiful blue sky from downtown Indianapolis. Currently 83 degrees, winds out of the west southwest at 9 miles per hour, feeling like 84, and that feels like temperature. It's really going to be significant over the next several days as this ridge in the upper levels finally builds in. This is what we've been waiting for to really help keep us dry. Now, because we're going to be on the outer ridge, that's going to allow a little bit of storm activity to develop. With this subsidence of high pressure continuing to stick with us, we have clockwise flow with high pressure. And what that means is winds turning out of the south on the back side of this high pressure system. So we'll continue to steer in these southerly breezes like today, where we'll have those temperatures soaring into the upper 80s to near 90 degrees today. So it's going to be a hot day. We also are going to see the humidity rising as well. It will be in the upper 60s and low 70s. And when we see that, it makes it feel pretty sticky out there. In fact, our heat indices, that's the combination of the air temperature and the dew point, making it feel like it's in the low 90s this afternoon. So it's definitely going to be a good pool day if you're heading out to the pool. Great conditions for that. We'll see temperatures around 88 degrees during that 4 o'clock hour. Now we do have a chance of a few isolated thunderstorms after 4 today into the late evening hours, but nonetheless, some of those could be strong, possibly severe. The better chance of the stronger storms will be in west central Indiana, and this is a low level of possible storm coverage. So we're not expecting much out of this. However, still be weather aware this afternoon as we do have some showers and thunderstorms that will develop later this afternoon after 4 o'clock. Some of them could be strong to severe with some heavy downpours, lightning, and it looks like damaging winds will be the main threats out of those storms. Tonight, if you're heading to Victory Field, we have that potential of an isolated thunderstorm mainly early on, and then we'll see mainly quiet conditions and mild. It will be warm and muggy for that game. Temperatures start off in the low 70s first thing tomorrow morning. We'll climb back into the upper 80s to near 90 degrees tomorrow afternoon. So we do have a chance of a few isolated thunderstorms, mainly in east central Indiana during the day tomorrow. So we'll keep daily chances of thunderstorms, but it's going to be the heat and humidity that are going to be the big deal. Chance of an isolated thunderstorm later this afternoon. A couple could be strong to severe. Highs in the upper 80s, 90 degrees for Thursday. Daily storm chances all the way into next Monday. But notice the string of 90 plus degree temperatures. And then as we get into Tuesday, that will really be our next best chance of more widespread scattered showers, Alyssa.